So, Richard, a five-year sentence today, the judge accepted that. How do you yes. feel about it? Well, it's, it's a lengthy sentence for a first offender who pleads guilty at an early opportunity. So we're satisfied with the sentence and, and happy with the investigation. The Windsor Police Service did an excellent job in this case and a very efficient investigation and the prosecution was was rendered uh, quite easy as a result of the good police work. Is it strange that you sounded like, in a way, you're almost coming to bat for the, the accused in that you were arguing that it should be five years and not six? Well, the, the court asked uh, questions directed to what the proper range of sentence is uh, from the Court of Appeal, and we provided the court with that authority, and uh, it supported the sentence that was imposed today. So it's unusual, um, but uh, counsel are there to assist the court, and that's what we did today. What's the message in all this? Because he is a first, first offender, and now he's spending five years behind bars in prison. Well. Uh, let it be known, if you're going to traffic in drugs in, in Windsor, the police uh, are on to you. They're going to seize your assets, they're going to seize your monies, they're going to place you into custody. Uh, bail is a reverse onus, you have to establish cause why you should be released on bail. And the sentences will be lengthy. So the message is general deterrence. And those who uh, seek to get involved in this type of activity, they're, they're going to be sentenced by the court. And the message will be sent to them and to the community in general.